Hey guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. Today's video is going to be a start to finish setup of this Dollar Tree binder planner. I shared this series back in February, but today we're going to go ahead and sum it all up into one video. If you guys would like more information on anything that I share from the cover to the dashboards to the inserts, be sure to check out my series DIY Dollar Tree Planner in the description box for more information. I give more of a tutorial there walking you guys through the complete setup. Again, this video just sums everything up. Let's go ahead and start off with the basic supplies. So Dollar Tree has these mini binders, which I love. They come in an array of colors and a great way to decorate and customize the cover is by using wall decals. So this one here, it's a running joke because I don't even know what I called it in the video when I did it, but it's a running joke that I got the animal wrong. I don't know what I was thinking. So if you guys remember, go ahead and comment down below. But yes, it is a running joke here on the channel. But wall decals are a great way to not only decorate the cover, but to decorate dashboards inside of your planner as well. So I went ahead and decorated the front, the side, and the back and this is all from the same Dollar Tree decal sheet. Everything in this setup is from Dollar Tree so if you guys want to go check out your local Dollar Tree for these items by all means check it out and there's so many more things that you can add as well and I will have my favorite Dollar Tree planner finds video in the description box for your convenience. So when we go ahead and open it up I did decorate this pocket. The planner does come with two pockets here and it's a standard three ring and you can use a hole punch a regular hole punch to punch the holes into your pages i know that dollar tree does have some inserts that goes with this but if you want to do more of a bullet journal kind of style you can cut down either line or grid paper and then hole punch it into here so starting off with the inserts and the labels these are both Dollar Tree inserts and I will say the Dollar Tree ones are thinner. So what I did was I took a double stick tape and I taped them together as far as like the months and the weeks because some of them, the way that the months are, all the months come together and then all the weeks come together. So to keep it cohesive, I taped a week to a month just to keep everything fluid inside of here. So this is six months worth. So we have this, and then it jumps right into the month, and I think I have the other one here as well, the full month. Yes, I do. So here it is, and then on the back of this one where it looked like this, I went ahead and just added some photo paper, which you can get from the Dollar Tree, and I used these poster board stickers and then more of the wall decals to make it pop. So let's go ahead and add these in. And the tabs are also from Dollar Tree. And the collection specifically that these are from is called My Plan My Way. And I've also been told that you can find these inserts at Dollar General. I have not been able to find any at my local Dollar General, but I have been told that they are there. So, and this is what I mean by cutting down regular lined paper. They do have a notepad at Dollar Tree that you can easily just cut the top off and then trim the sides a little bit. You don't necessarily have to tape it to your inserts, but it's great filler paper. Then back here, I did add this pen loop because there isn't one anywhere else inside of here. But pen loops are great to add to your planner, of course, for your pen, but also to keep up with it because I'm always losing my pens. So now that we have the insert, I wanted to have something to protect the actual dashboard. And that is where this piece of plastic 
comes in and this is actually one of those binder covers well not a binder cover a report cover that I hole punched with my single hole punch and then I use scissors as a slit so that I could easily pop this in and pop it out so whether you're working with a ring planner or disc bound the convenience of being able to take your pages in and out i know a lot of people like so if you don't want to do disc bound and you really like the ring cutting slits on your holes whether it's a three ring or a six ring you'll be able to take the pages in and out and then i also wanted to have something for the stickers and all of the stickers in here are from Dollar Tree so I have these three sheets here and then I have these and then they also had these super cool mini sticker books six sheets so the Dollar Tree stickers can be a hit or miss for some people but if you're just looking for something basic or if you're looking for something to give the teen in your life this is a great option as well or even a preteen because you can customize this planner any way you want and everything fits nicely into this little pouch and the pouch conveniently matches the decals that I use for the dashboard. And then this is one of the planner bands that was also a part of that line. So again the accessories I, I have received comments of my Dollar Tree doesn't have it or I never see this. I know every Dollar Tree is different, but if you do see it, snag it while you can. Because I remember the mini binders. I didn't see them when they first came out, but now I see them everywhere. So next up, there's also another option that you can use when it comes to creating dashboards and or dividers and that is the Dollar Tree chopping mat. I first learned this hack from Paloma of Coupon to Provide. Her channel is now The Bates House. I have seen a lot of DIYs here on YouTube, but I will link Paloma's video below as well as one that I did using the chopping mats. So this, I just cut it down. Same thing with this plastic report cover. This is thinner if you're just looking for something to protect your dashboards, but if you wanna actually make it functional, I would go with the chopping mat because it is thicker and not as flimsy as the report cover and you can add sticky notes or if you wanna add a small list pad, you can do that as well and I did cut the slits in it so I can be able to move it around throughout the planner with ease and then that easily goes into the back of the planner and Dollar Tree they do have posted sticky notes but don't sleep on the Jot brand the Jot brand sticky notes are absolutely amazing but that is it for the gist of this Dollar Tree binder setup we have the inserts we have this little cute dashboard. We have a functional dashboard in the back with sticky notes. We have a pouch in the front for stickers and any other miscellaneous things you might wanna keep in here. And then the pen loop. Now, if you don't wanna use this kind of system as just a planner, this is great for those that like couponing. You can put receipts in here and you can even get those mini page protectors and divide your coupons by the store. If you want to turn this into a mini planner, like I said, again, for a tween in your life they would love this because they'd be able to go in Dollar Tree and pick out their accessories and whatever else they want to customize their planner as far as punching the holes all you really need is a single hole punch you don't need a fancy hole punch and also if there's other things that you want to add to the planner again I'll have my Dollar Tree planner finds in the description box my favorite ones but cards are amazing to add to this and it's great because you can rotate the cards in for different seasons and make it your own so that is it for this video as far as this Dollar Tree binder setup I will have all the links in the description box for you guys to check out more info on how I was able to personalize this for more of a tutorial let me know down in the comments section what you guys think and also in the description box I'll have links to other related videos my Etsy shop if you guys would like to purchase items 
items from my D-Stash as well as some custom items that I have. And of course, the links to the blog and Instagram. The blog is chaoticcritic.com. My Instagram is at chaoticcritic. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And for all of you that are, I thank you. I love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.